Now go. Break that. Come on. Oh, just right off of it. it. ain't doing nothing. I'm taking the front end. Let me see if it's on, guys. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, man. You need to. Come on, George. What is yeah, the giant? Come good. on, man. You, you can let the, <laughs> the little guy beat you, man. <laughs> Some of that front off. Come on. Come on, George. Oh, George, come on, man. You got <laughs> fun with garbage. What's going on? What's going on? A giant's life. So the other night I went to uh Prime Cut for the comedy night. Um some friends of mine were performing and I wanted to give them support. And uh, they were doing some open mic before the uh, actual comedians went on. And I decided I would go back up. Uh, I haven't for a while because I just... It was a little bit hard because uh, the last couple times I did, the audience was just really hard. And I just realized that they wanted crude humor and everything else. And I just wasn't willing to go that far. So I'd kind of given up on my comedy train. Um, so I wasn't planning on going up, had no intention, and uh, one of them basically said, hey, go up. So uh, I was one of the last of the, uh, the open micers, basically, to go up. Um, I did a little, very short act. I think I did maybe three to, to four minutes, uh, if that. Um, I did a, one blue joke that I, I'm like, eh, probably shouldn't have done it. But uh, it's something that's always made me laugh because that was actually what I was thinking at the time when the incident was occurring. Um, there was a lot of things that I was going to say that I forgot. Um, didn't uh, say complete statements that I was going to say. I did Reader's Digest versions. Um, I still think the bit went okay. I'll let you guys make a decision on that one. Um, tell me how you felt. Uh, I asked some of the the full-time comedians, what they felt about my act. Uh, one of them told me I was better the last time he saw me, but I also did a little bit of sideshow that time. Uh, this time, I didn't do any sideshow. I wanted to try to be pure uh, stand-up, not use a crutch. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you like what I, I did, uh, write it in the comments. If you did, eh, write it in the comments. It doesn't hurt my feelings either way. I'll take it as a criticism and hopefully... Uh, corrective criticism that I'll learn from. Uh, when I started talking to the comedians uh, later that night, I, I mentioned some other stuff that happened in my life. And they were like, why didn't you mention that stuff? Why didn't you do that? So I'm going to have to work on my act again. And maybe uh, I've been asked maybe to perform next week at another venue uh, that has more, it's more susceptible to comedy. Uh, the problem with Prime Cut for comedy is people don't go to see a comedy show. They go to eat a steak or get a drink, and then by chance there's a comedy show. Um, this other venue, basically people are going to see a comedy show, and that's what their attention is for. And so with that being the case, I'm having a feeling that that's what I'm going to, I'm going to try there and see if that's better. Um. Because, as I said, I love comedy. I would love to be part of comedy. Um, I've done very good in Sideshow. I want to see what I can do in comedy. Um, so we'll go from there and see what happens. Uh, enjoy the video. Let me know how you feel. Yeah, that's right. I was in the movie Big Fish. Uh, you might not recognize me. I'm, here, I'll do my scene. <laughs> Yeah, I was the little giant, I got fired. When Danny DeVito tells you to take a hike, you kind of know you're in trouble. Um, yeah, I've been just starting comedy, but I realized that my whole life has been comedy, because when you're my size, you're going to be sticking out no matter what. I mean, here's the thing, when you go into a room, what's the first thing you look? You look at the area, look at the people that are there. I'm looking for ceiling fans. See this mark? Yeah, that isn't from the war. That's from a ceiling fan in Denny's. I have one over here from my dad's house. I have another. It, it's like, it's like 
Jaws. You want to see this score? Uh, okay, but, and, 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 and you're thinking, oh, it'd be great to be tall. Okay, I lost my job for sexual harassment. <laughs> the charge they gave me, he looks down women's tops. Okay, think about this. Hi, how are you? I'm looking down a guy's top. I'm seven foot three. I have no choice. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault. I mean, the person was talking about circus freaks, midgets, and conjoined twins. These are my family. <laughs> Everyone's a freaking midget to me. You're a midget. She's a midget. Wouldn't you like to have a midget? My wife's 4'10". Okay, I wanted to go home to the little woman. Get over it. Now, now, talking about circus freaks. Now, this is pretty bad. I did a show where I worked with the Mexican rubber man. This is a guy who could grab his cheek and pull it and touch his ear with it. Then, he's hanging out with the Mexican wolf brothers. Now, that's strange enough but they're watching soft porn in my living room. I'm waiting to hear It trips you out, folks. It's not that they were odd. I mean, dude, I hang out with a guy named Enigma. This guy's tattooed from head to toe with puzzle pieces. And no, I don't know if that area is tattooed. Get your mind out of the gutter, cracker boy. But he's covered. I have no problem with it. I'll talk to him, no problem. He, he starts carving in the puzzle pieces. Again, he's my friend. Okay, now he starts taking chunks out of his ears. I draw the line. That's freaky, folks. And then he decides, hey, I have an idea. Let's tattoo my eyeballs. So when you look into him, you see what's truly in his heart. A small little midget. Thank you, folks. I'm George the Giant. Give it up for George, huh? So what we just found is an old video camera with the whole unit. So basically, this thing would strap on your uh, your side, like so. Da -da -da. And you could go tape everything. So ain't that cool? You can tape everything. But now, you just carry one of these little things around and you can be special. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll bring out the old cell phone that we found too.